Jays Extra. The Anglers Extra pregame show continues from Veterans Field. It's time for Catch of the Day. Ian Unsworth joined by Chatham's brand new hitting coach, Rusty Greer. Rusty, thanks for coming on. Oh, you bet, man. My pleasure. Glad to be here. Rusty, a nine-year MLB vet, over 300 career hitter, and now the newest member of the Chatham A's coaching staff. So, Rusty, what led you to become a coach? Well, uh, I've always, baseball consumes my life, um, trying to actually get into the college game. And uh, Coach Holiday called me back in early, Mar or, yeah, early March and asked if I want to come up and, and uh, be the hitting coach. I said, sure. I had some stuff I had to do camp-wise that I run, uh, which put me up here the first week of July instead of being here from the beginning. But uh, just enjoy baseball, and it consumes my life. When did you first meet Tom? Uh, well, I first shook his hand right over there a minute ago, but I've known who he is. He's known who I am, and we talked on the phone quite a bit when we were putting this together. So I'm very comfortable with who he is and what he does as a coach. Coming in to help a team that's hitting 182 on the year, and I know you've only been here for a short couple of hours, but what have you seen thus far from Chatham's hitters? Well, they all have good swings. They're big and strong and physical, and, and uh, I don't know so much it's anything physical, but just understanding how to hit and what, what counts to look for and understanding timing and when to start. Some different stuff we're going to talk about over the course of the rest of the summer. I noticed you talking to Marcus Brown a lot through these first couple rounds of BP. What do you see in Marcus's swing that you're tweaking? Well, he actually was talking about uh, a little separation he wanted to work on. So that, I'm, I'm going to take a couple days and understand who these guys are as hitters. Um, and I told them, I kind of met with each one as a group and, and uh, told them if they had something they want to work on or address right now, to me, but let me get my bearings and then we'll start talking about stuff. But he wanted to work on a little separation and talk about it. So that's what Is there a coach that you had in the big leagues, college, or even farther back that inspired you to start coaching? Well, I can say most all of them uh, because one, you enjoy helping, especially this level of player. Um, when you get to professional baseball, it's it's uh, you guide folks, but there's more that goes into the coaching aspect of it here because these guys are trying to get to that professional level. Uh, I just enjoyed it, and guys have taught me along the way things to look for and how to do it and how to relay it and how to say it, so that's why I enjoy it. What's the best part about working with college-age kids? Uh, they, they, they still have somewhere they want to go, and uh, the game is still somewhat pure, and uh, they, they want to win and want to lose, don't want to lose, sorry. And uh, I just enjoy coming to the park and watching them get better as players. And you mentioned that your son played up here last year. Do you have a favorite Cape League memory from watching him play? Um, no, I can just remember rain and fog and, and cold and all that stuff, but uh, he had a good time and, and I had a good time up here visiting with him and uh, so, so uh, hopefully it'll, it'll, uh, it'll be the same this go around. Last one, do you have a story from your time in the pros that you're going to tell these kids to inspire them? Um, I, uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to share it on this camera, mm -hmm. but maybe. <laughs> so uh, we'll get there when we get there, yeah.